Hey guys, welcome back. So some time back, I reviewed the Lumos Oro Projector, a 1080p smart projector that was packed full of features yet at a very affordable price. So this is the Lumos Ray, but starting at only 199 Singapore dollars, has Lumos actually leveled up the budget projector game? Well, yes and no. Now, first up in the box, obviously you get the projector, you get this remote, which is really, really important. So don't lose it because unlike the Lumos Oro, which had controls on it, you don't get additional controls on this projector. But you also get a HDMI cable and a 3.5 millimeter AV to RCA adapter. All right, and over at the back, you got your IO, you have your infrared sensor uh, for your remote. You also get a headphone out an AV out, like I said, where they give you an adapter from AV to RCA. There you have a HDMI port, a USB port, as well as a micro SD card slot. So the Lumos Ray has a native resolution of 720p. However, it does support a full HD signal. It will just downscale it. It also has a brightness of 3000 nits, but we'll talk about the brightness in a bit. Now, in terms of design, I have to say, I actually love it. It is great both aesthetically and practically, all right? Now, uh, in terms of the form factor, it is very different to the Lumos Aura, which has more of a uh, form factor similar to other projectors. This has more of a squarish one, but it still has the same uh, gray and white design aesthetic as the Lumos Aura. Now, it having more of a boxy shape isn't just great design-wise. It also means that it takes up a lot less space in whatever surface you put it on. It even has this really cool like a PU leather handle uh, over at the top. Well, this projector is not really heavy, so I don't think it's an issue, but this isn't the strongest, uh, but still I think a really nice design feature. Now, just like the Lumos Aura projector, you do have the option of a regular projector or a smart variant of this. And this one is the smart variant, so it does come with Android 6. Now, it also comes with Bluetooth uh, and Wi-Fi, which is great, but there is one very big caveat. Now, the Wi-Fi only supports the 2.4 gigahertz standard, does not support 5 gigahertz, and you don't even get a wired LAN port. Now, to a lot of people, that's not going to be an issue, but for me, it really is because if you've seen any of my other smart home videos, I have a ton of smart home features and they are all connected to my 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi protocol. Uh, so connecting to that is really, really slow. So when I connected this to my Wi-Fi, it, yeah, it was really, really slow and I don't have the option to plug in an Ethernet cable. So that was a pretty big problem for me. But yeah, like I said, this is not going to be a problem for everyone, but this is something that you will definitely need to take note. Now, it has a lot of the really cool features as a Lumos Aura projector, things like, you know, um, having a HDMI out, you've got smart home, so you've got YouTube, you've got Netflix all installed. You can even mirror your phone to the projector, which is really nice. Uh, this actually has one additional feature that the Lumos Aura doesn't. You can actually use this as a Bluetooth speaker. So yes, if you put this on a Bluetooth speaker mode, it actually switches off the projector and it becomes just a speaker. And speaking of the audio, it's, well, not great, but it does the job if you don't have a speaker. Um, the speakers on the Lumos Aura are definitely better. Now, you do have a dial on top here, uh, right next to the power button. Now, this is only a focus dial, right? You do not have an option for a vertical uh, keystone adjustment like you do on the Lumos Oro. However, you still can do a uh, keystone adjustment through the menu uh, on the Lumos uh, projector. However, I will say as much as possible, try to get it straight on the wall because uh, software keystone always makes your screen a little bit smaller. Now, in terms of picture quality, I would say it's pretty good, but just like any other projector in the world, it is very dependent on your room lighting conditions. Now, if you got a lot of light in the room, the projector isn't going to perform very well. So just make sure that you don't have any light shining on your projection surface. Uh, make sure the room is not too bright. If you can control the situation, it actually does a really good job. Now, because this is a native 720p, not a full HD uh, resolution, you do get slightly bigger pixels, but if you were to sit at a good distance away, honestly, a lot of times you can't really tell the difference. Now, in terms of how big you can get the screen to be before the pixels become too much of an issue, honestly, I wasn't able to test it out because as a lot of you guys know, I'm in the midst of packing. So I've got stuff everywhere and I just didn't have enough space as you can probably see from some of the B-roll. So is there anything that I don't like about the Lumos Ray projector? Well, I already mentioned that um, the issue of not supporting five gigahertz Wi-Fi and the fact that you don't have a LAN port at the back was a real problem for me. The other thing is that it doesn't really get as bright as I would like it to. Now, I mentioned that it had a brightness of 3000 lumens, which sounds pretty good, 
But the Lumos Oro has double the brightness at 6,000 lumens. And side by side, you can actually see a really, really big difference. The Lumos Oro gets a lot brighter, right? Although having said that, uh, the Lumos Ray Projector actually has a shorter throw lens, so you can actually get a bigger screen at the same distance compared to the Lumos Oro. So like I said earlier, the Lumos Ray Projector starts at about 199 Singapore dollars for the regular version, which is non-smart. If you want to get the smart version, that's 298 Singapore dollars. And if you want the stand, it's just an additional $55. So in my opinion, Lumos actually has raised the bar of what to expect in a budget projector. You get really good picture quality, really good throw distance and you can actually get a smart variant as well. However, the value proposition drops a bit for me mainly because of the lack of a LAN port and 5 GHz Wi-Fi. So for me, I think the best value right now would actually be to buy this projector at 199 Singapore dollars and just buy an external Android media device that you can actually get for less than $100 and some of them even have 5 GHz Wi-Fi and a lot of them actually have a LAN port. Better yet, if you have the budget to fork out $398 for the Lumos Aura projector, that to me right now is the best budget smart projector on the market today. All right, so that about wraps up my review of the Lumos Ray projector. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do, and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.